The uh, first phase of our project in, in Central Asia, we hired a local person to run each of the uh, uh, three national projects, and that was a very, very uh, good move on our part. Uh, after the first five years, then our objective was to uh, assist in training the next generation. The student organic farm uh, here at Michigan State University is basically uh, run by the students and that concept back in Kyrgyzstan gives the students a really practical experience in, in providing uh, uh, leadership for uh, the farming that they're going to do in the future. When I first visited MSU, I took the organic greenhouse idea back to Kyrgyzstan to teach students how to make hoop houses, how to work in them, and work with soil and plants. They have um, opportunities for, um, to study in grad school at Michigan State University. At that time, I was like, oh, I guess it's just a dream. And I said, yes, why not? But then later we found out that there is actually um, grants and money for um, students that they can and apply and do their study here. Back home uh, in our universities, the education system is a little bit different, but we want to have more exchange research and uh, maybe uh, exchange students or faculty that they can come here and learn new technologies and new ways how to do science and then take that back home. So I think the collaboration work between MSU and Kyrgyzstan and the universities in Kyrgyzstan is very important. Working with your hands is very important because you are learning everything with your hands. And if you just sit in the classroom and learn from a PowerPoint or lectures, you can't get the whole idea. And Michigan State University has to be involved in training some of the, the leaders of the world for the future. And where we work now in Central Asia, which is an area that most Westerners have never uh, been to, it's the true crossroads between the East and the West. And there are absolutely great people there, and we have some technology that can help them. And we've also learned a few things from them. When I first came, of course, I was so scared, and the culture shock, the language barrier, everything was so hard. People who surrounded me, um, all these, uh, the, from potato program, from my, from my friends who I made it, they all helped me to um, be, become strong, I guess. And I did it, and when I did it, now I'm looking back, and of course I would never change anything. I would do the same way. If I learned a lot, I would never probably would learn this much if I was back home.